Hello Wealth Lab 8 users, Glitch here. Today we're going to talk about what's new in Wealth Lab 8 build 45. So let's get started. There's two items I want to cover in this video. Uh, the first is a new oldie but goodie that we brought back from the Wealth Lab 6 days uh, and we added this method into Wealth Lab 8, it is right to status bar. So let's look for that in the quick ref and take a look at how that works. So here we're in the quick ref. Uh, we're looking at the reference for the user strategy base class, which is the base class that all of your C sharp strategies are descended from in Wealth Lab 8. And let us filter for right. Okay, here we go, right to status bar. So we open that up, and the method has two parameters, one optional. The first is the text that you want to write to the status bar, and the second is the color. So let's open up the example code and take a look here. We're just simply writing to the status bar the current bar number that's being processed in the execute method. And then we're doing a thread.sleep for two milliseconds. If I hadn't put that in, then this would run so quickly that we really wouldn't see any updates. But let me go ahead and run this. And you see down here, the bar number is updating. Uh, the updates are shown roughly up to about three times a second. So there's some throttling there to prevent the UI from getting bogged down in case you're doing a large number of updates. So there we go, a good old method that I'm sure some of you have used in the older versions of WealthLab has made its return here. And this is going to become relevant also in the next item, which is a new method we added to the Strategy Runner class. So Strategy Runner is a class that lets you run a strategy in code. Uh, the uses are probably somewhat limited. However, the class could also be used in writing WealthLab extensions. So it's a quicker and easier way of running a backtest via code. Uh, it puts some of the boilerplate code and steps required to do that in a, in a nice little package here. So let's open up the strategy runner reference. And the new method we added here is perform optimization. So we're going to open up this example code. And let me cancel this. I don't want it to run right off the bat. I want to first take a look at the code here. In, uh, we're doing this in the backtest complete method. So we are creating an instance of the strategy runner. We are setting its data set to the DAO 30. So we're using the data set factory to find the DAO 30 data set. We're assigning that to the strategy runner. And we are then calling Strategy Runner Perform Optimization. So we're giving it three parameters. The first parameter is the name of the optimization method that I want to use to optimize. And I'm, I want to use the exhaustive optimization. The second is the name of the strategy that I want to optimize. And we're going to optimize Knife Juggler. And the third is a callback method that will get called after each optimization pass is complete. And here I defined this delegate method down here. It's called run completed. And this method has to have two parameters. The first is an optimization result instance. And optimization result is also documented in our quick ref. So you can just click on that and you'll see the relevant members there. And the second parameter is the percentage complete. So all I'm doing here is I'm using our write to status bar to write down the run number that was completed and the percentage complete of the optimization. Uh, probably what you'd want to do once you do this perform optimization, you want to examine this optimization result list, which is returned, which is a list of optimization result instances that give you the full result of all of the optimization runs. So Let's run this and take a look at the status bar. Here we go. So there we go, run one, run eight, 12. You can see the percentage updating. Since this is the exhaustive optimizer, it's doing multiple threads to handle all these. That's why these uh, 
updates are happening in an inconsistent basis, kind of sporadic. Uh, but here we go. We are approaching the end here. And the optimization is complete. So there we go. Uh, perform op performing an optimization in the strategy runner, which is the number one requested feature in our feature request wish list, which is why we went ahead and implemented this for build 45. Also of note, when you specify the strategy you want to optimize, so let's open up Knife Chipper and take a look at the parameters. So if I click optimize here, I could see the optimizable parameters. Notice that this one is not checked. I disabled this parameter and then I saved the strategy. So the strategy runner will use whichever parameters you've left enabled. So it will not optimize in this case on profit target. So that's something to keep in mind when using this. But there we go. I hope you enjoy build 45. There's also a couple of fixes in there. Take a look at the release notes for that. And that's it for now, everyone. Thanks for your support and see you all on the Wealth Lab forums.